the brake surface is quite worn but it's below the maximum diameter so I think I'm going to skim them with the bearing in place what I'll do is I'll drill and tap this piece of steel to M10 then turn it down about this far to 24.97 millimeters should be a nice fit on the um, bearing I'll put a bolt through one of the wheel bolt holes which should allow the drum to be driven by one of the jaws on the chuck Here's the skim drum, the finish looks pretty good, it's cleaned up quite well. In the workshop manual, or the Haynes manual, there's a maximum diameter after machining which for these drums is 181.2mm and this one measured up at 180.8 so well within the limit. I also span the drum while it was still on the arbor with an indicator running on the skim surface and there's about 0.02 millimeters run out a bit under a thou which is fine for these so now I'm going to fit new brake shoes and reinstall the drums I removed the old brake shoes cleaned the backing plate and greased the pivots and contact areas before fitting the new set of shoes and reattaching the handbrake cable I should fit a new one of these nuts here but I forgot to order one so I'm going to put this one back on and then uh, change the nut in a few days when the new one arrives.